Hello guys, good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of setting up a Stripe account uh, for you to be able to process a credit card payment from your uh, Shopify store. Now, uh, you can use PayPal, PayPal Express Checkout to process credit card payments. The problem with that is sometimes a uh, customer is a little bit conf confused uh, if they say PayPal um, uh, uh, during checkout. So, most of them probably assume that you don't process credit card payment in your account, uh, in your store, uh, but only PayPal. So, uh, another reason for you to set up um, a, a built-in credit card um, payment gateway in your Shopify store is for conversions and also transaction fees, okay? Um, I've checked my PayPal account and um, currently I have 3.9% uh, per uh, transaction and um, I'm actually getting lower now since I am uh, processing um, over 1 million um, um, a month but if you are new to this I think for uh, you will start with 4.6 percent and that's this quite it's quite a lot um, now I've checked the stripe um, processing it's only 2.9 percent you can save money and at the same time you can set up your payoneer um, bank account which is a better and higher um, foreign exchange rates compared to PayPal so um, I just set up my PayPal account, I mean in my uh, Stripe account yesterday and I was able to successfully um, integrate it with my Shopify store and I am already getting um, um, uh, successful transactions here. Okay, I haven't checked my conversion uh, rate yet, but my previous conversion um, uh, from my Shopify store with just using PayPal is about 2% on average. 2.5% um, probably is already the highest for me if 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 uh, just using PayPal Express checkout. So I'm gonna check this in a few days and see if this will increase my conversion. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go to the process of setting up a Stripe account. Now you might be asking, um, um, can, can I just go directly and create an account um, uh, in Stripe? even if you am not from the US um, yes you can uh, in my experience I, I tried this uh, they asked for lots of documents and um, uh, I wasn't approved uh, the best way is for you to set up um, a US company because it's w way e easier and much um, it goes smoothly it's it's basically once you have a US company set up an LLC and an EIN uh, you j just be able to activate your Stripe account um, right on the spot. So we need to set up first uh, our um, US company account. And um, most of you probably know this. Uh, you are probably aware of this because we have been posting this in the group and we use Delaware uh, inc.com, okay? So we suggest you uh, form an LLC and it's right here um, down on the right. And you can just click on form LLC. And it will ask you what um, about your full name, your email, and all of that. So just basically use LLC, and um, you put in your company name here as well, and you choose your international phone number. Now the process of getting an LLC would probably take about three to five days. Uh, I got mine, I think, yes, within three to five days. And then please make sure that you select an uh, an option to um, put. Um, uh, get an EIN as well. So uh, later on in this this step, it will ask you to um, it will ask you uh, to uh, if you wanted to opt in for an EIN, please do so because you will need that. Okay, in Stripe they will ask you for um, an SSN. We don't have that because since we are not from the US, so uh, the best thing we have to do is just get an EIN, and um, EIN would probably take. Uh, 10 more days. So uh, before setting up a Stripe account, um, you need at least 20 days um, in preparation to get an LLC first and um, um, before setting up a Stripe account. Uh, for the fee for LLC, I think it's, uh, I paid uh, less than $200. Uh, yes, because I think they, they are, um, 
um, there's a promo that time when, when I um, set up an LLC but that's that's the the fee for uh, setting up an LLC and EAN and once you have that once you have that um, um, Delaware uh, the Harvard Business Services they will send you a PDF file with your uh, LLC name and certificates and all of that and also your EAN uh, number okay so once you have that you go to stripe and you set up your account now okay so it's, it's simple you go to stripe.com and then click on create account okay and then it will ask you for your email your first name last name and all of that now it's, it's a good thing that you already <clears throat> um, um, it's it's um, it once you have uh, set up your Stripe account, it will ask you to um, put in your um, um, account details. Now, um, in the business sections, it will ask you for your company name. And you have to put in the company name you have set up as an LLC. And also, it will ask you for a U.S. address. And uh, for U.S. address, uh, you have to put in the address of um, Delaware... Uh, it will it will be attached to the PDF file that is uh, sent to you by the um, Delaware L um, uh, Delaware INC. So you just use that address, and uh, for SSN, it will ask uh, for for um, first time it will ask for an SSN. Just put in the the last four numbers of your EIN for now. Okay. So once you're done with that, it will. Um, 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 give you here the dashboard and um, in the notification area it will ask uh, for um, those uh, requirements so um, um, all right so here are some other requirements that it will require from you they will not be able to verify the your SSN because of course you're not, it's not your actual SSN it's just your EIN so what you need to do is just contact Stripe support, okay? Tell them that you are not from the U.S., okay? You just be honest. Tell them that you are not from the U.S., but you have a U.S. company and an EIN, okay? So the support, um, uh, um, the support email will tell you that, okay, if you don't have that, we will just um, ask for your ID, okay? And... Um, uh, and and uh, your EIN number. Okay, that's that's what you need. So you just um, reply to the support, and then um, once you go back to your dashboard, it will gives you this um, identification uh, screen. Okay, then um, all you have to do is just click on it, and it will ask you to upload your your uh, ID. Okay, so you can just um, use any ID. Of course, it should be you. Um, any government ID that you can provide and then you're good to go okay so that's done um, that's, that's basically it that's it it's the process is very smooth once you already have the LLC and EAN and uh, the next thing you will do is I uh, keep um, your account here you should be still logged in and once you go to your um, your uh, Shopify store you go to the settings sections and of course you go to the payment providers and um, here as you can see I have already set up my stripe account so um, it should give you an option here to select a payment provider so select stripe from there and I think it will automatically log in if you are already logged in in, in the browser so once you're logged in uh, all you have to do is just hit on activate and it will be activated automatically so once the customer once you have set this up correctly uh, your uh, once the customer check out from your page it will show up like this so there's already a credit card option where they can put in the card number uh, directly okay without going out from uh, redirecting outside your uh, checkout page all right so that's pretty much it the, the whole process of setting up the stripe account and um, it's it's um, it's it's a smooth process once you have um, set up your um, US company. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know.